Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to install the ABAP2 UL5 project on your system. As the name suggests, we can use it to develop UL5 applications purely with ABAP. Here again, offers a pure ABAP approach for developing UL5 apps entirely without JavaScript, OData and RAP. Some key features, 100% ABAP, user-friendly, minimal system footprint, cloud and on-premise ready, broad system compatibility and easy installation with ABAP Git. Okay, so let's open a SAP GUI window and we type here SE38 and here we call the program set ABAP Git standalone. If you don't have this program, you have to install ABAP Git first. I show you this on this video. Then we click here on new online repository. Here we need the link of the GitHub repository. We find this here. This is the GitHub link for this repository. We copy this and we paste the link here. And now we pick a package. In my example, I pick a temporary package. So I type here dollar set up up to UL5 and then we can create a package then we create a package here I type again dollar set up up to UL5 if you want to transport this whole project you can pick a normal set package and you can use a transport request so for the package, we need a short description and the software component. So in my case, it's local. Then we click on continue. And then we click on create online repository. Okay, then these are the objects, the different file files from the repository. And now we click on pull to fetch these files from GitHub to our system. So we see here the overview of the objects and then we click here on continue. So now the files are fetched from GitHub and I have sped up this a little bit. Now the files are activated. Okay, so we see here a little change log the latest changes of this project. Okay, so next we open the transaction SE24. It's the, I don't know, first the SE80 to check uh, the decorated package and the files in it. So I type here dollar set up up to UI5. And here we see the package and the sub packages and the internal files and object and the external files and object of this project. Okay, so next transaction SE24. Here we create a handler class. You can pick a name if you want. I pick this one. You can pick a name, whatever you want. Then we click on create. We need the description I type here up up to UL5 and we click on save okay I save I save the whole project in temporarily on my system and then we click on the tab interface here and here we type if for interface http underscore extension After we press enter, we see HTTP framework and we see that the method has been created. We save this, double click on the method and here we need some code and we find this code on the GitHub project page. Here we are, we scroll down and here we are, here we see the method handle request and we copy this code here from data. Okay, so we copy this code and we paste it here in our handle request method. Pretty print. Then we activate the code. Here we check 
all entries, all objects, then OK. So the objects are activated. Sounds good. <coughs> Next, we create the service with the trans transaction SICF. Click here on default host, right mouse click, new sub element, and then we pick a name. I pick here um, set up up to UFI, for example. And we click on continue. Then we need the description here. I copy here the service name and service. Then we click on the tab handler list. And here we paste the class which we have created before. So we go back to the class interface and we copy this class name the handler class name and we paste it here in this field so log on that uh, that's okay and then we click on save okay click on save then we go back we see the service is created and then we click right mouse click and activate service click on yes and then we test this service so right mouse click and test service then we see a security pop-up and this link will be called so hostname port and our service name and here we have it the browser window we log in with our username in my case developer and the password of my test system here sign in and now we should see a site yes we see here the pretty nice rendered site uh ui5 with abap we see here some system information about backend frontend and the ui5 version then we can check the hello world app we can uh, call this example app and we see here a uf 5 rendered hello world app purely with ABAP. We can enter our name here, custom code for example, and we click on post and we see here the little pop-up. Your name is custom code. So that works pretty well. So we can click here on start and install apps. We see here some menu entries, apps on GitHub, then add-ons on GitHub. Oh, yes, so let's click on the contact contact link here and we see this here is the developer of the whole thing. So the developer behind this project deserves applause for creating a tool that empowers ABAP, de ABAP developers this way. It's a really great work, Oblomov. Please support this project and his work. Okay, so last don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.